Hello everybody and welcome back to Broken Brian and today I'll be talking about Dustborn. I've mentioned a few times in videos just how terrible it is and it just seems that it just won't go away. So I'm going to make a video about it because I don't know why maybe if I make a video about it it'd be cathartic get it off my chest and just stop seeing all the stuff about it because it is quite infuriating. Dustborn is basically a guide how to be a radical, selfish, narcissistic, inhumane person. And that sounds harsh, but I'll get to why I come to that conclusion in a little bit. But first I want to, let's read their statement, shall we? A message from Red Thread to our community. Since we first announced Dustborn, we've read your comments and listened to you, your feedback and hopes, wishes for the game. Over the past few years, our team has blah, 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 blah. Let's skip all that. We welcome thoughtful feedback and respectful criticism. We embrace discussion and debate. But we have zero tolerance for hate speech, harassment, and threats of any kind. Those who engage such behavior will be removed from our community. First off, your community is not that large. We know that you got a million dollars from one of the Scandinavian countries. I think it's Norway because of this character, Sai, because she is one of the indigenous people from that country and if you make a game or media with a person that indiv with, from an indigenous group from there you get government sponsored money so they added this character to get free money not because of the way that the game played out but they needed the money so that's what they did but why why is this Zero tolerance for hate speech harassment have me come to my conclusion and make me laugh because here's the skills you learn in the game. We're going to touch on four of them. Discord. You've learned to sow Discord. Discord gives you the ability to turn people against each other. This could be used both full, useful both when we're talking to people and when we're fighting enemies. What else do you learn in this game? Bully. We've learned to bully people. Bully gives us the power to enforce people to do something they may or may not want to do to make them feel bad about themselves in fights. This could be highly effective on targeted enemies. Cancel. We've learned how to cancel someone. Cancel allow us to isolate people from their friends and compatriots in battle. This could be a useful tool against enemies. I'm sure irony is not on this list. And the last one, normalize. We've learned how to normalize negative emotions. Normalize gives us the ability to make people think certain behaviors or feelings are normal. But I'm not sure how much this will do for us in a fight. So in this game, you teach people how to normalize bad behaviors, cancel somebody, bully somebody, disc and so discord. Also, there is a feature when in battle, you can get triggered and lose your mind and go wild. This is by definition of irony. They're like, don't do these things that we're teaching in the game. You have to be, you have to be respectful to us and be, be complimentary and real. Well, How'd they put it? Thoughtful feedback and respectful criticism. That's not what your game is. So how big is this community? 83. Peak. All time on Steam charts. And here's why I'm looking at Steam charts first. 
is because this is verified users. These are people that have bought it through Steam, have to have a Steam account connected to a bank account of some type or payment method. These are verified users that purchase this game. Let's see. Hundred thirty six positive reviews, fifty nine negative. Well, we know on Concord a lot of those positive reviews were I was given access to this game for free. This game is no different. But what's the overall sales? Two point eight thousand. Copy sold. Does that mean two thousand copies were sold on Xbox and PlayStation? Yes. That mean people are playing it? No. And here's why I think this. And this is for one reason and one reason alone. I have in the past seen companies, seen individuals get exposed for using certain companies to purchase books from different shell corporations to boost the book's numbers to get it on the top seller list. There's been scandals about this. And if you don't think, and the one that sticks out to me the most is the one that I couldn't believe would do it. Um, some of you may be familiar with the former, former Mars Hill pastor, Mark Driscoll, who did this and had a company purchase a ton of books to boost his marriage book to the top seller across the board. It wasn't that the actual people bought the books. This company he hired to purchase the books to boost the sales did the purchasing. He paid for it. I guarantee you, I shouldn't say that, there is an extremely high probability that's exactly what happened. Because you can buy Someone can walk into a GameStop and buy 20 copies of Dustborn if they wanted to. A corporation can buy 2,000 copies of a game if they wanted to. But this isn't people that are playing it. This isn't people that are buying it. They're buying it to purchase and boost the sales numbers. I have a suspicion that's what it is because of the confirmed people we can confirm, 83, 83 people. And when you got people that are taught to sow discord, bully, cancel, and normalize bad behavior, when it's done against them, they get upset. You promote these behaviors, and they get mad when it's used against you. This is why this game is so terrible. First, it teaches people. And it's like, well, this is just the game. You know, if this, if they want to continue saying games turn, violent games turn people violent, then this game turns people narcissistic and hateful. 100%, if we're going with, it with that logic. But does this mean that people playing this game are going to do that? No, absolutely not. But it's what the game promotes. I mean, that's exactly what it promotes. And I'm not even I'm not even gonna play the clip. I saw it. I didn't have my headphones on. I'll turn off my speakers. I'll play it. Uh this one, yeah. It was a clip. It was like let's just we'll just watch it. I won't hear it because I didn't put my headphones on, but let's just watch it. Fellow you're with, uh, the black kid, dresses like a writer. Does he know anything? Trigger. You are racist. racist. Oh, how many times have we seen that? You don't like it? You're a racist. You're a bigot. You're some sort of phobe. You know, by the people that don't know how to use the Greek suffix properly. Because it's not phobia. There's another good one. I like this one too. This one's crazy. Um, 
Oh, hello. It's not very inclusive. Good hey, what's the golem doing on the bus? Ma'am, I'll be happy to serve as your driver. I want to assure you that I'm fully capable of operating this vehicle. Push. I don't mean that you have software, of course. You lack the paperwork, but I don't need any. Yeah, I'm not going to be mean to it. Does that I mean? I don't know if there's a way through, though. Don't touch me. Hey. What was that? Oh, yeah. These are not great. This one was just a weird clip. Uh, I'll link the article. This one I'm not even going to play. This, just, this one is just so bizarre. I, I, I don't even know. Yeah, cancel. Here's where I got the info from, screenshots from. And, I mean... This Twitter user is not wrong. The main character, Dustborn, uses her powers to cancel, bully, hoax, manipulate, gaslight other people that don't share her beliefs. You are the advocates of hate speech, harassment, and threats. Pax is not a hero. She's a sociopath. And you're not recognizing this is insane. Not wrong. I think a sociopath is probably a better term than narcissist. But, I mean, come on. This is, this is what they think. Gamers want. And I'm telling you, it's not what they want. It's not what we want. I had no inkling to buy this game whatsoever. And the more I saw about it, the, the more absurd I thought it was. Right now, there's 21 people playing it. 21. Let's just do... We'll pull up another one. Let's just look at Tactical Breach Wizards, an indie game. With a tiny budget. Tiny budget. Let's see. All time peak, 4,761. Indie studio. Minimal money. Players, active players right now, 1,106. This is an indie game not funded by any free government programs whatsoever. Done out of pocket by these devs. Created a game gamers want. Is this like a huge hit that's going to change the world? No, but this just shows right now, 1160. I'm just out of curiosity. This is the one I'm playing right now. This one is a major studio. For comparison, right now, 2150. Peak, 7,000. And some, it's not a great score, but some people love it, some people hate it. And I know some of these are, some of these negative reviews I did read are because it's not diverse enough. Well, okay, the main cast may not be diverse, but the entire world is excessively diverse. But that's what their comments were. This was not a diverse game. And those are a lot of the negative comments in there. So, Dustborn, you... We are not going to normalize your bad behavior in trying to teach people to be hateful. We're going to not play your game. We're going to do everything we can to stop you from making games like this. We're not going to buy them. We're not going to we're going to keep talking about them so other people aren't tricked into buying them. Because you've done a terrible, terrible thing. And Red Thread Green Red Thread Thread Games, I can't say the name. This is by far probably the wokest game we've ever seen. And you know what? I doubt we'll see another game from Red Thread Games in a while. At least not with this dev team for sure. So... We gotta, we gotta keep people informed on stuff like this, so they're not tricked into buying it and promoting this hate speech. That is just absurd. You don't believe with me? You don't believe me? Then use these tactics. You don't agree with me? Use these tactics. And then when those same tactics are used against the people promoting it, oh, we're the terrible people. And we're just doing what you told us to do. Aren't? Isn't that right? Isn't that right? We're bullying you. Sowing discord. 
normalizing bad behavior on social media. We're normalizing that for you, just like you taught us to. The hypocrisy and the irony in here is just heap, heap upon heap. And it's just, it annoys me that this game is getting so much talking about it. And I know some people are buying it just to see if it's really that bad. Because I have friends that be like, oh, it can't be really that bad. And we'll buy it and play it. And they're like, oh, no, it really was. Or sometimes they're not. But even those people aren't coming. They're not coming. We don't want a game like this. This isn't a fun game. This is about bullying and being mean to people because they're different than you. That's not cool. It's not. We can disagree. We can have a conversation. I have lots of friends. A lot of friends that disagree with me on everything. I have friends that disagree with me on politics, religion, uh, ethics, economics, everything. I have friends that disagree with me on so many different things. I don't hate them. We disagree. I still love them to death. But we have conversations. Things may get heated. We may get really upset at each other. But we always walk away friends. I've never lost a friend due to disagreements. That's why we hate this game. So until next time, my friends, as always, I love you all, and there's nothing you can do about it.